When applying a master page, Affinity's smart master page system will automatically reposition your page's existing content to the new layout, which is being introduced. When first opening Publisher, we can see in our left studio our master pages panel and our pages panel. And the pages within our pages panel make up our document. Whereas the pages in our master pages panel act as templates for our document, and these can be applied to our document pages and reused on multiple pages throughout our document. We can also use Smart Master Pages to try out and reuse different page layouts. And for example, if we look in our Master Pages panel, we can see that I prepared a selection of master pages, and these master pages show different configurations using three picture frames, a rectangle, and text frames that use different text fonts and styles. So to begin with, I'll apply a master page to a page within my document by simply click dragging the master page from my master pages panel over the document view and then releasing my mouse button to apply the master. I'll then place some images into the picture frames. So we'll use the place images tool from our tools panel. We'll locate the images and I'll choose open. I'll then select the images from my place images panel and place them into the waiting frames. And I'll be sure to place this yellow image into the largest frame, as I want it to be the main focus of this article. I can then go back to my master pages panel and click drag various different master pages over my document view to try out different layouts. You'll notice that when presenting a new master page to the page, it generates a preview of how that master page will look if that master page was applied. Whilst holding the mouse button, if I move my mouse away from the spread, the preview disappears. And this allows me to sample different page layouts without having to commit to the new master page. And once I've decided on my layout, I can then release my mouse button to commit the change. If I'm ever unsure of what master has been applied to my page, I can simply hover over the pages in my pages panel and a tooltip will show which master has been applied. At the moment, when I apply a new master page layout to my page, the master page system will reorganize the content based off the image position and layer order. However, rather than utilizing the automatic system, we can choose where elements are positioned by employing a layer naming convention. For instance, I mentioned earlier that I wanted to prioritize this yellow image here, making sure that it's always in the largest and most prominent frame. So I'll go ahead and I'll create a new master by pressing the add master button here. And I'll leave it set to the default automatic name and click OK. We'll then make this layout slightly more unusual and begin by using a picture frame ellipse tool to draw out a circular picture frame. So we'll zoom out slightly and we'll simply click drag using the elliptical frame tool whilst holding shift for proportional scaling to create this picture frame. I'll then use the move tool to position the frame into place. We'll then use the rectangular picture frame tool to draw out a new rectangular frame. And we'll use the move tool to simply click drag whilst holding command on Mac or control on Windows to duplicate the frame, ensuring that these two rectangular frames are the exact same size. We'll next use the text frame tool to draw out some text frames. And once again, we'll use the move tool to click drag whilst holding command on Mac or control on Windows to duplicate the frames. We'll then apply a text style to each of these frames. And these are text styles that I prepared earlier. So we'll select the title text style for the first text frame. We'll select the subtitle text style for the second frame. And we can see that this text frame has already been set to number three, body text. We'll then draw out a small gray rectangle to tie in this page layout with the rest of the document. We'll also move the rectangle behind the large elliptical picture frame. Additionally, we'll add a text wrap style to the large elliptical frame. So I'll select the frame, go to my text wrap settings, we'll add a tight text wrap, and we'll just increase the spacing to six millimeters. Finally, we'll apply another master page to this new master we've been working on. And we'll apply this specific master here. This master page has been set up to contain automatic fields, automatic page numbers, and section names. And we'll simply apply this master by click dragging from the master pages panel over our new master page, but specifically the left hand page only. 
and this will apply the master page with our automatic fields specifically to the left hand side. So we'll only apply this to the left hand page as the large elliptical picture frame will cover the right hand page's master covering the section name and page numbers. So with my basic layout complete, I can now rename the layers. We'll begin with the large elliptical picture frame. I'll double click on the layers panel and I'll call this picture frame one. I'll then rename the other two picture frames, picture frame two and picture frame three. We'll also rename the text frames. So we'll call this first text frame with our title textile applied, frame text one. We'll call this second frame, frame text two. And lastly, our third frame, frame text three. Now, if we go back to the previous spread we've been working on, we can also rename the layers on this master page. And I can do this by going to the master page, right clicking and choosing edit linked. And this allows me to edit the master page content while seeing it populated with images and text. So I'll quickly go through and rename the layers accordingly. And the frame containing this yellow image, we'll double click and call this picture frame one. The frame containing the blue image, we'll call picture frame two. And finally, we'll call the frame containing the orange image, picture frame three. We'll also rename the text frames as we did on the new master page we created. So we'll call the title text frame, frame text one, the subtitle text frame, frame text two, and the body text frame, frame text three. With the changes to this master made, we'll simply click finish. Now, you'll notice that this yellow image picture frame is labeled as picture frame one. And if you can remember, on the new master page we created, the large elliptical picture frame was also labeled as picture frame one. So now when I apply this master page to the page, the yellow image becomes positioned in the largest and most prominent frame, which is now elliptical. Using a layer naming convention is most useful for when initially setting up master pages. And this way you can explicitly control how the content is shuffled around between your different page layouts. So there you go. That was a quick look at smart master pages in Affinity Publisher. Thank you for watching.